All right, so now on to the fun part. I'll be taking the Double O Gundam and the O Riser and combining them to form the Double O Riser. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the O Riser and I'm going to take these two wings off. Just simply detach them from the side. Now with these wings, what you need to do is you need to pull out this tab here. As you can see there, these side pieces here that are on a, a hinge mechanism, they fold down to about that angle or thereabouts. And these wings are supposed to come out. How far, the instructions aren't really clear, but I guess it's more personal taste uh, than anything else. So I'll do the same thing over here, take out the tab, fold down these pieces here, and bring out the winglets. So, as for the main body of the O-Riser, you want to take it, fold this section down, it's on an extended hinge here, and it reveals these two uh, tabs here that correspond to slots on the back of the Double O Gundam model kit. So you want to slide them into place, make sure it's on securely, and then take one of the wings I don't think it really matters which one you do, but uh, there's a the tab corresponds to a slot on the side here. So they just tab into place. Oops. Like that. And do the same thing over here. Again, it just tabs into a slot. Then remember the shield? There is a tab here that corresponds to a slot. Again, just tab into place and hope for the best that nothing falls off in the process. Then take the other shield and do the, the same exact thing. So there, my friends, is the Double O Riser in all its glory. Very fantastic looking Gundam, I have to say. It reminds me a lot of the Wing Gundam, with these being the sort of the wings. I uh, really like this design. It, I really got an appreciation for this uh, mobile suit by building this kit. I mean, I, I liked it before, but having the playability of actually putting this thing together, of combining the Double O Gundam, model with the O-Riser model was really cool and uh, definitely is a very nice kit and I'm really excited to, to finally have it built so one of the things I want to point out is the joints here there as I discussed in the articulation portion of the review there's a joint here connecting the G and drive to this plate here and then this plate is uh, also a joint which with which has articulation but then the very back that, that connects this whole assembly here to the backpack there also is a, another joint so you have a total of three joints and my concern is that over time these joints will become loose to the point where it will not hold the weight of the the section here that hangs off of the G and drive uh, so one of the things I would would have liked to have seen is extra poly caps so that you can replace those poly caps as they wear with age or time. All right, so do I recommend you go out and buy this kit? Well, maybe not. And the reason I say maybe not is because there actually is another version of this kit. It's called the designer version. Now, the designer version of this kit includes the same basic components. You get the Double O Gundam 1 to 100 scale, as well as the O Riser in the 1 to 100 scale, and they both combine to form the Double O Riser. However, with the, the designer version, you get the Geonsword 3, you get an additional LED that lights up the eyes, and it's just, you get a little bit more for your buck. And the thing is, that is priced roughly for what I, what I paid for this originally back a few months ago. So I paid roughly around 60 US dollars for this kit. The designer version sells for roughly that right now. So really, you should go for the, the designer version. I mean, why not? You're getting more for the, about the same price. So uh, Now, as far as the price goes for this kit itself, you know, $60 might seem kind of high, and it, and it is high as far as prices for model kits, but when you, can, when you break it down into its components, like you consider the fact that the 
1 to 100 double a Gundam by itself would be around 30 US dollars because most double O kits in that scale are around $30. And then you factor in the price if you were to buy it separately of the O riser in the 1 to 100 scale, you figure maybe you pay 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks for that. And then you add in the stand. And now this stand is not a run of the mill stand, it's actually a really nice stand. And uh, I think it's worth definitely 10 bucks. So you add all that up, it comes to about you know, 60 US, 60 US dollars. So for that reason, I think the price is reasonable. I mean, it's not great. Um, but if I was you, I would go with the designer version. You just get a little more accessories for the same price. So, but as a kit itself, with, without factoring in the designer version, I, I can recommend it. It's an awesome kit. And when you consider the fact that there is no master grade double O riser out there, the next step up would be the perfect grade double O riser, which you know we all know is hundreds of dollars. This kit is actually pretty nice. It's got articulation that's really you know better than decent, certainly better than the the Seed Seed Destiny model kits that I'm used to. So I, I really like it on its own merits. But since the since the designer version is out, I would suggest you go with the designer version. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Like It's 1985 with my review of the 1 to 100 scale Double O Riser.